Is that coach full of it or is it just me? I mean, maybe it is just me, but I don't think so. I've had this bee in my bonnet for quite a while and I'm not really sure when it started. I sense sometime around the dawn of this great pandemic, but doesn't it seem like one day every other person on social media just became a coach? As I'm known to do, one day back in the summer, I responded to an Instagram post from my friend Candice D'Angelo. She's brilliant, by the way, and I am booking her as a guest on an upcoming episode of PTL, I promise. But her post essentially laid out the problem with coaches saying and promising things like, have a $10,000 cash day, scale to six figures in less than six months, have an easy breezy 30K launch followed by the quote-unquote join my program and I'm going to show you how to do it kind of language. Now, here's where I will be self-aware enough to tell you that I have taught business owners how to launch and how to launch the non-traditional way. But what I don't do is promise revenue results because everyone is different and every business is different. $10,000 to one might be peanuts to another. And I don't promise it's going to be easy because there's always shit that feels hard. And everyone, again, is different. And that's why not everyone can be a coach. Because the modern day coach, as you see it online, is more regurgitating their past experience versus doing what actual certified business coaches do which is to say, guide you to uncovering your own results and decision points. So when acclaimed executive and multiple times over certified executive coach, Harriet Schumacher responded to my Instagram story, I immediately invited her to be a guest on Permission to Leap. And you can check that episode out here in this email or in the description box below. She got so impassioned about the difference between a real coach and someone who has simply decided to be a coach, that she actually banged on the table a lot. Harriet points out that most people who say they are coaches are actually teachers or consultants, not to mention the coaching industry is entirely unregulated. So anyone can really call themselves a coach, which is clearly a problem. In this interview, Harriet and I also get into the curse of the female leader our tendency to not know what we want and therefore hesitate in asking for what we want in both life and in business, which, spoiler alert, is what makes it easier for us to hire coaches who aren't really in it to help us, but rather to pad their pockets for yet another easy breezy launch that they can then remarket to the masses. Investing in a coach is mostly a great idea. I've had many over the years. Each of them has helped me unlock something about myself that has propelled me forward. But I have also made some really shitty snake oil investments in my time too. So if you have done that, we're all in good company. Next week in the Permission to Leap Collective, I'm going to explain how to invest in a coach or consultant and what to look for when you're making that investment. And we'll get into the dollars and cents of it all. You can, by the way, join the PTL Collective right here in this email. You'll still get all of the regular Permission to Leap episodes or check the description box for the link to our Supercast page where you gain access to the collective. Or if that's not for you right now, grab the regular Permission to Leap feed here and listen to my latest episode featuring Harriet Schumacher. Go get them, but don't call me coach. See you next week. 